Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Bridge Talks with ISIC, the Interassistential Service for the Internationalization of Conscienciology. Today, we are going to talk about cosmoetics. We have here Adriana Rocha and Hegrison Alves. Welcome and thank you very much for your presence today here. Before we start, we are going to show you the video, okay? So, as I was talking, today we have uh, two volunteers from Cosmo Etus, and they are Hegrison Alves and Adriana Rocha. And Hegrison um, Alves is AN in social, social linguistics, has been a volunteer uh, and a conscienciological teacher since 1996. And Adriana Rocha is PhD and postdoctor in law also volunteer and conscienciological uh, teacher since 1996. They are bibliographers and authors of books in our areas of professional study. So welcome today, uh, Adriana Hegrison. Um, they are going to start uh, talking, uh, in, uh, exposing their ideas in 30 minutes, and then the participants will have the opportunity to ask questions after their presentation. So thank you very much and welcome, Adriana, Rocha, and Hegerson, Alves. Thank you, first of all, thank you for the invitation. It's a pleasure to be here and to talk about cosmoethics. Okay. It's a pleasure to be here. Welcome to everybody all around the world. We're gonna share some ideas about cosmoethics. Can you have the, the slides, please? In a few minutes. In a few minutes, just a second. <laughs> but, uh, technological problem, but... Uh, it's gonna be very soon, right, Virginia? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Just one minute. Um, like me to stop sharing the... So it okay. I think it's okay. Okay. Yeah, excellent. Oh, great. Yeah. Not working. <laughs> yeah, now it's working. Uh, hang on a second. I think that there's one before. I think there's one before that. Uh, this is. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Next, please. The next, please. Yes. First of all, we have to take into account the principle of disbelief, right? Do not believe in anything, not even what you hear in this talk, right? Experiment. That's the idea. Have your own experiences and we add at the very end and reflect upon the experiences you have. This is very important uh, for cosmoethics. Uh, next, please. The next, please. Okay. So the the first thing we have to do is we have to understand that the consensuality is the study of consciousness. Uh, but consciousness. Next, please. The next, please. Yes. Uh, if we if we we know that consensuality studies the consciousness. And we know that consciousness is a very complex entity because it's very easy when we say, what's the, con what is consciousness? Oh, it's you, it's me, it's the uh, soul, the spirit, spirit. But what is it exactly? We don't know what con the consciousness is. What we know, it's a very complex thing to be studied in the universe. So the point is, how can we study consciousness? Uh, how can we understand its, it's uh, uh, reality, right? To do this, we have to, the next please, we have to, to study its manifestation. So uh, it's, very, it's a very complex thing to do to study the consciousness because we don't know exactly what it is. But what we know is that uh, uh, we can study it 
by its manifestation. So the question is, how does the consciousness manifest itself? So uh, what we know in consensuality, right? If you want to say anything, just interrupt me and say it. Okay. If we, what we know in consensuality is that the consciousness has the ability to study itself. So that's what we call self research. We have the idea of consensual lab uh, laboratory. So we can be the investigator. We can be the subject being studied and we can be the laboratory as well. So uh, we are able to study ourselves. That's the first pillar, right? We have in consensiology. The second one is that we, we, we know that we, we lived before lives before we're going to live in the future. We're going to live long future. We're going to live other lives, right? Uh, so this is what we call multi-existential existentiality. And we also know that the consciousness manifests itself in different dimensions. So this is what we call multidimensionality. And we also know that consciousness manifests itself through different uh, somas, right? So we have the body, we have the uh, energosoma, right? We have the psychosoma and the mental soma. So we have different vehicles of manifestation. We also know that consciousness uses energy to manifest. And when consciousness is manifesting, it's doing this through what we call thoughtsing, the thoughts, right? What we think, uh, the sentiments, what we feel, and energy, through energy. So when we have these three variables, we put them together, we cannot uh, manifest ourselves uh, without one of them. What happens sometimes is that we, one of them is prominent in relation to others. So this is, we have here some of the pillars, what we call a uh, consensual paradigm. So this is a way of looking at the consciousness, which is different from the one we have in the physicalist paradigm. So we know that consciousness manifests through these different okay, variables. So this, these variables will help us, these pillars will help us understand what consciousness is. Uh, and these pillars, they represent what we call the consensual paradigm. And this is a very good, when you get here, we have to understand that the consensual paradigm uh, was not created to study the consciousness. It was created, right? Uh, uh, yeah, it, it, it was created. Can, can you go back to the to the previous one, please? Yeah, it was. Thank you. It was created uh, by by observing. by observing the way the consciousness manifests itself. It was not invented. That 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 was the idea. It was not invented to study the consciousness. It was created based on how the consciousness manifests itself in reality, right? Uh, this is a very important thing because if it was created uh, based on how the consciousness manifests itself, it means that we can use these pillars to analyze and to study the consciousness and then understand what the consciousness is, okay? The next place. The different pillars, they, they certainly help us think about our behavior, how we behave. Because if we behave through different, in, in different dimensions, if we behave uh, in different lives, in past lives and future lives, if we behave through energy, so when we think about these pillars, we can understand what we do, our actions, and why we do what we do. So the, 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 the values and principles that go uh, underneath it. And think about and behavior, two important concepts. They have everything to do with uh, what we call ethics and morals. Can you go to the next, please? Thank you. Ethics and morals. These two concepts, they're very important when you study cosmoethics. 
because when we, we understand what ethics is and what moral is, we can then understand what cosmoethics is. Morals has everything to do with behavior, what we do, the way we manifest, uh, how we act, so our actions, our acts, our attitudes, our manifestation, our conducts, what we do. So, but the question we can ask is where does our behavior come from? What, why, why do we behave in such a way, okay? Uh, we behave, if we, stop, if we stop to analyze why we behave in such a way, we'll see that we have beliefs right behind our, beha our behavior, we have values, we have principles, and we have rules. And these beliefs, values, and principles, they, we, we, the, they were acquired through our friends, family and relatives, religion, laws, society, school, which means uh, the, 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 the way, the, the ambient, the, where we live, the right? The, um, I don't know if the word is yeah. that, yeah. But, but mythology, <laughs> mythology, 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 yeah. mythology, mythology, right? So uh, where, where we were born, right? Uh, environment. The environment. The environment, that's right, the environment. <laughs> the social environment, the, the, the school environment, the family. The, the family, these places and with these people, they have great influence in our behavior, okay? Remember that we are talking about ethics and morals. Can we go to the next, please? Yeah. So what we know is that morals, right, which is, as I said before, uh, has everything to do with uh, uh, our behavior, what we do, is, is influenced, is regulated, oriented by our beliefs, values, principles, and rules. And these are related to physical world. We're talking about ethics and morals. If we take a look at this ice, iceberg, we we'll see that the top is the moral, what we, what we do. And what is, uh, uh, what is underneath, in this case, right, is what we're showing here, beliefs, values, principles. Of course, we are talking about the physicalist paradigm. Next, please. So morals is what people do, right? Of course, based on our beliefs, values, principles, and rules, okay? So the, the, the point is when we stop to think about, stop to think, not stop thinking, okay? Because the idea is different. When we stop to think about why we do what we do, okay? This is what we call ethics. Because ethics is reflection. Ethics is the branch of philosophy dedicated to reflecting on morals. And this is a very important concept we have to understand. Moral is, morals is then behavior, what we do, okay? Our manifestation. And ethics is when we stop to think about what we do and mainly why we do what we do. Okay, this is a big difference, and this difference is really important, okay? And this is the concept we use to understand cosmoethics. Uh, yeah, so what about cosmoethics? What is it? So when we talk about cosmoethics, we have two very important concepts here. The same thing uh, related to ethics and morals. We have cosmoethics, and we have cosmic morals. Okay. Would you like to continue? Sometimes, no, it's because sometimes uh, Valdo Vieira used the, 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 the terms uh, equal, yeah. uh, synonymous, yeah. cosmic morals or cosmoethics. So we had to choose uh, in which way we're going to understand the, the word and the concept that Valdo Vieira wants to bring to us. That's why it's important to know about the pillars. Because if ethics or cosmoethics is to reflect, reflection or re uh, to think about, to think about our behavior, we have to know how we are behaving and how we are thinking, which which pillar, which paradigm we are using to understand why we behave in such a way. Okay, so we choose. Uh, one of the defini definition of Valdo, mm -hmm. yeah? 
it's important to know né? cosmoethics now our behavior and reflection should be based on the values and principles which take the pillars on the conscientious paradigm into account if if we understand that we we know about this paradigm we have to start to change the way we behave, behave by applying these pillars and think how we are applying these pillars in uh, our daily life mm -hmm. right? okay in interphysical life and out of body life so so as we can see in this this slide uh, we now have other variables because we are talking about a different paradigm. Uh, earlier on, we, we talked about the difference between ethics and morals. And we said that morals is to do with behavior, what we do. And ethics, when you reflect on or upon things, what you do and why you do what you do. And we said that our behavior is influenced, right, is acquired through uh we have our friends family the environment and of course we were talking about the uh, physicalist interphysical or physicalist paradigm but now as we can see in these uh red red balloons okay i think it's, yeah. yes we we have other variables now because we are talking about a different point of view now we have a different lens we have a different way of seeing this of looking at the object which is the consciousness and as we said before consciousness manifests in different ways and we know that one of the ways is when we have this intermission in the intermission the period between one life and another one another life we have a period in which we are in the extra physical right dimension and uh, we also have we also have a course which is called inter intermissive course right and in this course, we, we learn or we acquire different values or we consolidated some values which we are using today in this life. So now, as we see it from the consensual paradigm, we see that other factors, they influence, they have a great influence on our beliefs, values, and principles and rules. And they, these are the ones which are in different color. We have the intermissive course, we have our holobiography, holo which is really relevant because this is something to do with this, everything to do with past lives, what we acquired in past lives, what we learned in past lives. And we also have to do with the consensiology studies, things we use study now to help us, right, uh, maximize our cons, our unities of lucidity. Okay, can you go to the next, please? Right. Now, <clears throat> the difference from ethics and morals are different from ethics and morals. Now our references change the way we interpret life. Of course, because now we see that uh, our manifestation, manifestation is not only through this interphysical environment. We also right, have influence from extra physical environment, from past lives, from bioenergies in the places we go. So this is the way we have to look when we talk about cosmoethics. Can you go to the next? Yes. Therefore, the basis of our moral life are no longer the same as before. Yeah? So we said before that uh, morals to do with behavior, and then we talked about beliefs, values, principles, rules related to the physical world. And we show the, the, the iceberg. As you can see, we have the top and we have the bottom of the iceberg. Uh, and the bottom is where you have the beliefs, the values, influencing, orienting, right, regulating our behavior, things, what we do. And now it's a little bit different. Can you see the next, please? Yes. It's more yeah. complex. <laughs> yeah, the iceberg now has become a little bit more, you're right, complex. Can you say, go on? No, I can. Yeah, yeah. Keep going. <laughs> because now we know that if, if you take a look at the map, the, the, the iceberg, you see how different it is from the previous one. In the previous one, the bottom is, is uh, we can say, small. Now this one is really big, really big, because we know we have... Uh, what we are today, right, we are the result of past lives, 
we are the result of past experiences we are the result of uh, of intermission say yeah no i would say exactly this the intermissive course what we learn there and uh, the reflection that we had in intermission intermission course intermission uh, intermissive course uh, intermissive course about our previous lives the things that we did uh, right and the things that we did wrong the things that we have to change yeah. the the family that we are going to meet in this life this present life mm -hmm. lots of things to think about okay. and to to act to practice now mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. in a different way yeah and so we have the variables of its bottom next please uh as you can see the next piece yeah as you can see beliefs because you know a belief is what you have you you, you acquired through uh the period you were you were you were growing up and we we talked about the influences we had now lots of beliefs we have beliefs we have beliefs beliefs, beliefs we have <laughs> beliefs we have yeah lots of beliefs we have the idea when we talk about cosmoethics, we have to learn how to turn these beliefs into what we call self weapons. Because what is a weapon? A weapon we know that is a, is it, it's the kind of truth, right? The cutting edge truth we we learn, right, based on the ideas, right, the concepts brought by consensiology. Uh, let me give you an example. For example, when we talk about penta, penta is is a verbum. Now we, but what we understand right at Cosmoeth, Cosmoeth is that penta is an. Ex we can say that it's an external verbum. You can only turn this verbum into something right, in, something internal, when you when you you read the concept, you put it in practice. You reflect upon it, you have your own experiences, that's the principle of disbelief, and then you come to your own conclusions about the verbal. The idea is not you create a new verbal, no, you understand the verbal. So for you to, to say that it's not a belief, but it's something you understand and you practice, this is what we call the self verbal, right? And this is going to be a, a, a verbeti yeah. soon. Okay, yeah. You're gonna be the author. I, I'm, it, go, it, I, I'm going to defend this. Yeah. It's because the self report it's it's not a new concept. It's how you understand, we understand the practice of that theo theory, 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 theory that uh, Valdo Vieira proposed in our life. When we understand uh, the variations uh, we have lots of issues mm -hmm. that it's uh, convergent, no? convergent, it's convergent to, the, to that concept. Like, for example, Penta. And we understand, we say, ah, oh, now I know what this concept means to me. That's why we call self response. Yeah. Right? Because there's a difference between understanding or uh, learning something and living this thing, okay? This is what we call theories. A theory is the theory and practice. You can only understand a theory when you live it, right? You, 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 you experiment, you come to your own, and you come to your own conclusions, right? And, and the, same, the same way of understanding this, this kind of transformation, the verbal and self verbons we can apply to the concept of cosmoethics. Mm -hmm. we, we can say, I, we understand what does it mean, us. Cosmoethics is the reflection about our behavior. Okay, but how okay. we are going to apply this in our uh, day life? Mm -hmm. How? Yeah. Okay. And the idea is that in, in, in moral uh, morals and uh, ethics we showed before, we showed before, uh, uh, we talked about values. Now we talk about evolutionary values. So when we talk, when we go into cosmoethics, we have to change values from values to evol evolutionary values. Evolutionary values are values you, you, uh, 
you assume, right? And they have everything to do with your evolution. It's not for of money. Money is a value, right? Family is a value. Uh, health is a value. But the way you see it, the way you use it, right, will change this from a value, an physical value, into an evolutionary value. For example, uh, we're talking about health. We know that health, to be healthy, is really important if you want to 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 complete your programming, uh, your existential, existential program. program, right? Uh, the other one is the principles. We have to turn principles, right, into physical, physicalist principles, into uh, what we call cosmoethic principles. Can you go to the next, please? Yeah, cosmoethical principle, cosmoethic principles. So these are the principles we have been, uh, we have been enlisting or we have been uh, compiling, okay? We have systematizing, we have been compiling the principles that are codified in the 700 experiments of Conscienciology, right? That was written by Val, uh, Professor Val Vieira. And he, 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 he wrote most of these principles in his, uh, his books. And what we are doing now at Cosmoethos, we are uh, decodifying these, these principles. And these are what we call, what we call cosmoethic or cosmoethical principles. And they help. Well, one of them is, you know, you know very well, which is the principle of disbelief. So everything we do in our lives, we have to do it uh, by uh, being, being very, very critical, analyzing, not accepting anything uh, before reasoning, before using your reason, okay? And the other one, the other variable here is useful rules. There's a difference between rules, simple rules, and useful rules, what we call in Portuguese, uh, regra útil. So everyone has rules. We all, uh, in our daily lives, we have rules about, for example, rules, uh, what's the first thing you do in the morning? Do you go straight to the, the toilet, or you eat first, or you do some gym first, or you go for a walk first? What is the first thing you do? And then after that, what's the other thing you do? When you, when you get into your car, what's the first thing you do? You put on the seatbelt. So we all, have, we all have rules. The idea is that we have rules which really help us, again, evolve, help us in the process of evolution. And not, the idea is not to waste time with things that are not really important. Okay? Can you go to the next, please? So these are the things that influence our moral. So cosmic morals is then we can say that is a behavior right guided by our self vehicle what is what is the cosmic morals this is very important we have to understand it again there's a difference between morals and ethics so cosmic morals is behavior what we do how we act you know uh, the manifestation the manifestation manifestation yeah. how yeah. yeah what we do because what we it's do. what we do and also what we not do <laughs> it's very important. Yeah. If the you, practice and the inertia, 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 inertia. Inertia, inertia. <laughs> well, I think. Yeah. When you when you do something, and also when you decide not to do something. Yeah, because not uh, not doing anything or doing nothing is doing. Do you yes. understand? If you decide not to do something, you are doing something. Right, so these. If you think, you just think about something. Yeah, you, you have, It's a behavior. Th that's that's why we have to uh, we have to you when you use when you be when you behave yourself right, uh, using the the pillars of the the, the conceptual paradigm. This what we're talking about now is really important because when you think about something, when you think, you are producing manifestation, and then. Uh, with this thought comes together, right? We we know the feeling, right? And these thoughts and feelings they they come together with your energy. This is the the idea of the thought scene. So when we know that, we have to be very careful about things, about uh, what we think, how we feel, and the kind of energy we are exteriorizing to people. For example, we are now in political. Uh, situation all, all around the world. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. If you think you criticize 
even in your think, just you with you, <laughs> you have to pay attention. What are you thinking about some behavior of about some political or something that is happening? We have to think, criticize, but also we have to have uh, emotion with a uh, healthy emotion, uh, good energy. So we have to pay attention about what we are thinking and which emotion we are in priming. In priming, you can say priming. No? What is the priming? <laughs> say. Imprimium. Ah, printing. Printing. <laughs> printing, yeah. Printing with this thought. Okay, yeah. So it's more complex now. Yeah. So th this this is the idea of cosmo ethics, right? Can you go back there to the to the slides, please? Yeah. Thank you. So these are the pillars. No, 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 no. no, no. Yeah. yeah. Next, next, please. Yeah. Sorry. The, yeah. Say, this one. This yeah. One. No. Yeah. So what's cosmo ethics then? Yeah. Yeah. This one. This is the original definition of Professor Val Valdier. Okay. So what cosmo ethics is? Cosmo ethics is the the ethics or reflection upon the cosmic morals. It's missing an S there. Sorry about that, people. Which is situated beyond social interphysical morals. So uh, remember what we, we were doing so far. We were sort of elaborating. We were building, constructing the idea of cosmo ethics when we talk about ethics and morals, the difference between both. And then uh, cosmic morals and cosmo ethics. So what is really important, if you understand it, we're going to be very happy because that's the idea. Morals, right? Cosmic morals. We're talking about cosmo ethics now. Cosmic morals is to do with what we do. And this is not enough. Why we do what we do. And when you start thinking about why you do what you do, you are talking about cosmo ethics. So what uh, what is what is regulating what is guiding right your 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 behavior your manifestation then we have to go back there right to uh, to our values uh, beliefs to our principles and rules and this is really important because now we know that cosmetic is to reflect upon what we do in our daily life taking into consideration right uh, our, these things we've just mentioned and and then you can ask me when do you know when do we know, do we know yeah, when do we know uh if uh, a behavior is cosmoethic or not the idea is that the more we get the more uh the closer let's say the closer you get to the behavior of, of a serenissimus okay which is a who is not which it which is a consciousness uh, uh the most evolved consciousness we have we know right in this planet or when we when we when we get when we, the closer you get to this manifestation right the more cosmoethic you will be that's the idea so to know that you have to reflect upon things you do and why you do these things so when you when you for example when you enter a bank let's say because you're going to pay a bill Right. And uh, the line is long and people are complaining because it's taking a long time to be uh, for the line to, to move, let's say. And people start complaining about that. And you, you, uh, you are sort of absorbed by this hall of thought scene, right? Assimilate. You assimilate uh, with it, what people are thinking. And then you start criticizing as well in a very negative way. What happens is that you are not acting in a very cosmetic way because you are exteriorizing this kind of energy, negative energy too. You are not helping uh, to to sort of not uh, to make a harmonize. Healthy environment, harmonize. No, no. Right? You are not helping to harmonize the, the 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 environment. You are helping. You are adding more negative. Uh, full things. That's the idea. Another another way to think it's uh, if you decide to stay at home, or you decide to go somewhere with lots of people in the pandemic. In the pandemics. <laughs> in the pandemics. pandemics nowadays. Right? Nowadays. You can you you have to uh, think 
very uh, calm and profound way you have to, to decide seriously, if you are you going, have to think seriously. If you are going to somewhere you go with somewhere. someone mm -hmm. or you stay at home. Even if you know that someone is healthy or not, how you are going to your example, your your it's a it's a, a very important concept also to think about cosmetics. Okay. Your examples. Your examples. Hello, Virginia. Finish already. Okay, thank you. <laughs> no, uh, we have some comments, so okay. I think we can start with you guys to interact with people. Here is Marcelo uh, Pires uh, saying congratulations and thanks for this presentation. Patricia Menezes is here too. <laughs> Cosmoetics. Um, uh, we have a question to Mario Luna say, well done, Isaac Ham presenters for delivering such a great material in English. Thank you, Mario. Um, I have a question, on, but before I would like to answer, uh, I would like you to answer these questions, guys. Congrats, Adriana Hegrison, from Anna Ruiz. Can you explain how to cal qualify our cosmoetics? What's the first thing we have to do? <laughs> <laughs> how can we <it> better? <laughs> Yes. The thing, the first thing to do is uh, to think about our behavior. I think it's the first thing, and uh, not react about something. If someone says something to you, do not does do not react. Yes, do not react like an animal, <laughs> just like my dog, for example. No. Yeah. Uh, if you do this for a week, for example, stop before and think before you react for, uh, about something, uh, you start to think about and start to behave cosmetics. For example, you, you love to uh, give that example uh, at Facebook or uh, WhatsApp, uh, family, family groups on WhatsApp. Usually we, we respond uh, without thinking, right? So if you go somewhere, drink some water, uh, think about life, go for a walk before respond, you start to think about and behave about uh, cosmoethics because, because you start to reflect about your manifestation. And, okay. Okay. Can, I, can I say something? Yes, uh, of course. Well, yeah, what, what I think people should do, the first thing people should do is first identify, people should identify their values, principles, and rules, and self purpose You know why? Because when you know what values, they guide you, right? For example, if rationality is a value for you, every time you receive this kind of message that Daniel was talking about uh, on WhatsApp, before you forward it to another person, the first thing you should do is you should study it. You should an analyze it. You should criticize it. You should check whether this is true or not. Because what people do is they, they receive a message saying that, I don't know, uh, uh, the president of Brazil is, is, has done something. And the first people, people do, they, they forward the message. When they do this, they are sort of propagating, they are uh, 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 spreading, right? Sometimes fake news. So if we, if we apply the principle of disbelief, for example, which is a principle, if you are rational, which is a value, use the principle of disbelief before sharing, before sharing anything with people, before forwarding anything to people, you would analyze it, you would criticize it. So the first thing I, th I think people should do is identify their values, principles, and uh, uh, rules, and and also self response because some people they they know they they know the concept they've studied the concept but they do not apply the concept they just know they they might be even consensiology teachers and teaching consensiology without applying the concepts right okay thank you and we have here Aline congratulations and Sergio Fernandez too. Um, 
I, I, I was uh, wondering, uh, because we usually talk when we talk about cosmoetics, we say, ah, the, the best for, for the group, the best for all. But sometimes my question is, the, the best for the groups it needs to be the best for us too, or how, is, how it works? <laughs> we need to, <laughs> to stop being egotic, but not uh, forgetting us. What do you think about that? Well, if we think about max, I don't know how to say that because I'm not the Maximize. Before. No, 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 max pro axis, pro uh, uh, existential. Max pro axis, we say max yes. existential yes. program, we call, yeah. Think the about that. Of life. Yeah, so what we, we, we have to insert ourselves in the group. If we have a group, we have to sort of know how to live along with the group. We have to help the group uh, because we know that when we help you the group, you're helping yourself. So if you belong to the group, this, this feeling of belonging, right, which is very important, very important, because when you, when you have this feeling of belonging, you know that what you do is what the group, right, we also do. You know that the, you share this, these common feelings, common thoughts, common energies. So this is how cosmoethic goes. Yeah. Uh, when we are studying the cosmetic principles, we start to understand that we have to, in which in each situation, we have to combine two or more principles. Mm. It's very interesting. And in in your question, we can think in in another situation sometimes what is better or is best for the the group and everyone is not the best for us. Yeah. For example, we have to, you have to uh, not do something that you have to do in that time. For example, or, should. Uh, or you should have to do something like this to uh, 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 attend to attend to, to help to help to help to help. To help. So oh, it's yeah. better. Yeah, it's 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 better and it's bad for five, ten. A hundred people, but it's not the Good best for you. For you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So you have to, but to choose what we are going to do, yeah. you have to reflect oh. about two principles. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What is uh, it's better for everyone, and also if it if is the the time and the the situation that you have to stop to do something for you to help the others. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the cosmetics, you can say no to, not only say yes or donate your energy or donate your time or things. Yeah. You exactly. need to, to use your discernment to sometimes yeah. say no, this is not for me in this moment in this situation. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's why we in our courses we we. Uh, in our courses. Uh, courses. In our courses. We, <laughs> we build the way that you are going to reflect about the situation. Yeah. So you, you can we, be more autonomy, more independent to decide or to say no or to say uh, yes, uh, which is the better, the best way that you are going to, to respond to someone. Okay. We don't have the... I think uh, that's time. Uh, oh, it's the time. Okay. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, thanks a lot. Just the only question I would like you to tell us because I know you have an interesting uh, workshop, individual workshops that you inter uh, someone can participate in Cosmoetus and, and have uh, one workshop with, with you to attend, to understand better some situation that maybe we have no the um, we don't need to to think together can you explain this this kind of workshop that you have a little bit more yes well we have, we have <laughs> no we're talking about percept perceptorship yeah yes we, yeah but the the, the the best people can do is we have a site, right, which is www.cosmoetos.org, mm -hmm. uh, oh, yeah, dot .br, dot .org, dot .br. Uh, and this preceptor, we, we have online also, 
and in English also. Portuguese and English. Some, uh, Portuguese and English. If someone has a doubt, a dilemma, or a question, we help the person to reflect with the pillars and to decide but, which is the best. But if people, her. yeah, if people have questions, they can send us. No problem. They can send us an, e an email. Contato. Uh, at C -O -A arroba, at cosmoetos.org.br. Yeah. Okay. Um, that's perfect. excellent. Because yeah. there you, you can you can send you can send an email from the site, right? From mm -hmm. the site. Place there. Okay. Thank you very much. So thank you very much. It was a pleasant to stay today with you both. Uh, thank you for all the present for all of you, everyone who attended presentation and see you next uh, the in we have in November we have another let's see we have another talk with Apex and the semi will be uh, sorry here just just Teresa Latov and Larissa Imperico to talk about Cosmo Ethics. Okay. okay, that's great. So thank you very much. See you everyone. Um, we finished for today. Bye. Thank bye. You very much. See you next time. Thank bye. you for the invitation. Bye bye.